<clears throat> dear students um, uh, today we will talk about data quality since the quality of the data is very important for predictions of uh, new patterns in uh, data mining so poor data quality uh, negatively affects many data processing efforts uh, data mining examples like a uh, classification model for detecting people who are low on risk is built using the poor data so in this case if you build your model on the poor data so some credit worthy candidates are denied from the loans and and more loans are given to individuals that are uh, defaulters right so uh, like you know poor data quality is very important to uh, for like you know for correct decisions So what kind of problems we, uh, could be arose um, uh, with the data quality problems? How can we detect problems with the data? How can we um, do about these problems? So example of data quality problems are like noise and outliers. Noise means like unnecessary additions of the data in the original data. Outliers means any data points which is away from the, uh, from the, um, the most of the points. Wrong data, which is not correct. Uh, fake data, which is like, you know, uh, uh input uh, by the malicious people or by uh, unmalicious non-malicious people missing values if there is some missing values uh, not provided due to the privacy or other reasons and duplicate data so these are certain examples you can see then how noise are added to in the original value outliers are these are three in the dots in the red colors are circles so these are the points which are away from the from the or like you know bunch you know, missing values uh, like you know it could be like uh, some people they would like you know not give their age or weight uh, because of privacy matters or annual income so uh, uh, so these kind of like you know this could be the reason for missing values. so we, there are certain ways to compute it and uh, different approximation ways um, like average uh, moving average or average on or other like you know ways um, to compute it or some through standard uh, values by defined by the organization uh, duplicate also can be found if there is duplicate value so uh, it could be deleted or uh, or for example if there is a one person he has a two email id so it's also like you know duplication so how to deal with that one uh, there also we need some uh, this is data redundancy and uh, uh, and for this one uh, there is like you know technique uh, to remove this like you know, dependencies uh, on uh, uh, on the multiple rows so um, in database like you know there are different uh, levels which is used for removing the dependency on multiple uh, data values so there are different level one two and three different levels and bias code is also one of the popular way uh, similarity and dissimilarity yes similarity is important and uh, uh, to differentiate between um, or to distinguish between two uh, alike items or to recognize two alike items um, like uh, is uh, similarity is higher uh, uh, and more alike um, and it is like you know in the range of zero and one while dissimilarity is in the the lower one is zero and uh, and upper limits it varies uh, so these two techniques similarity measure and dissimilarity measure it is referred as approximate. Uh, so usually the nominal data values uh, it could be like you know referred like for example x equal to y so if both are equal for example if the color is red and red so it means d equal to zero if the color is red and blue so d equal to one and uh, similarly similarity would be vice versa an ordinal value when there is a grade or something so we divide it by n minus one and for the ratio is very simple for dissimilarity is x minus y and for similarities are there are varieties of formulas available uh, this is Euclidean distance uh, is used to to check the points distance between one uh, point and another point and we have like you know variety of uh, distances it includes like Euclidean distances it could be found through this formula uh, you can use you can do it uh, practically by calculating different points values or um, by so the points values are given over here between point 0.1 point 0.2 point 0.3 and point 0.4 uh, alternate is Manhattan distance can also be there then we have like uh, Minkowski distances are also available 
and they have uh, the formulas and the points can uh, can also be calculated similarly like we calculated in a uh, Euclidean distances and Mahalonobis distance is also one of the ways uh, but it has some power of 0 0.5 so it can also be calculated a similar way and there are Python's uh, codes are available uh, so you don't need to worry to how we can calculate so these are like you know some like uh, common properties of distances that are what distances is better in which situation so a distance that satisfies these properties is a, as a matrix so it is also referred as a matrix so they have well known properties and mathematical properties uh, which are like you know which could be termed as a symmetry and point two and other could be a triangle inequality other common properties are also have some well known properties uh, maximum similarity and symmetry and data objects as well similarity between binary vectors uh, we also have the similarity between different vectors also vectors are the one which has some directions and uh, some address so uh, actors vectors can be like you know uh, it could be also compared with each other for example vector x and vector y uh, through exclusive or or when when it is similar so it is zero so different ways are available cosine similarity is another way for uh, measuring the similarity and and dissimilarities and the formula is given over here and uh, python code could also be found to calculate how the cosine similarities or you might have done in your like you know in uh, school life or college life okay so uh, correlation like you know correlation we already know that it's uh, from minus one to one so if it is zero it means there is no relationship between two variables so scatter plot showing the similarity uh, from minus one to zero so you can see that how it variates uh, from minus one to uh, plus one so the direction is quite opposite if you look at minus one so it is um, skewed to the left and if you if you look at the one so it is uh, it is on the it's just like a linear and similarly you can see if you look at like zero so there is no like you know similarity it's ambiguous uh, drawbacks of correlations yes um, everyone it doesn't uh, fit so we need some like you know uh, standard deviations uh, uh, or some other like you know ways to find the uh, the best way to find the correlation between each other so um, correlation versus cosine versus Euclidean distance so these three are compared over here and they have different properties like invariant to scaling so some scaling cosine has a scaling property correlation has a scaling property but euclidean doesn't have a scaling property anywhere to translation addition so cosine no they don't have this property correlation has a property and you in euclidean distance they don't have this property and there are certain examples given below correlation versus cosine and and uh, euclidean distances so there are some more like comparison comparing document using frequency of words it could be used celsius of two location and temperature could also be used so some further informations are given over here uh, based on their measures how they are being uh, measured over here um, the next topic is a uh, probability i will have some more discussion in my upcoming next lecture on the information and probability and entropy thank you